I like sit by my window and drink coffee every morning to see what the hell's going on, you know. I don't know, nothing too crazy, but there's like just weirdos everywhere, you know, exercising at the bus stop and playing with their RC cars at like four in the morning and like in the middle of the, the street. <laughs> Keeps things interesting. I don't do like many like illustrations of RC cars or anything like that. There's lots of different ways. I think the traditional way is to like go into like a tattoo shop and, you know, bug the owner and ask them to clean up their trash and buy them coffees and shit for like a year. <laughs> and then and then hopefully they'll like put you on as an apprentice and then you just show them drawings and paintings and then one day they'll let you hold a tattoo machine. More and more now there is this other group of people that just decided like do it yourself and kind of learn as you go. I like, you know, practice on my legs and my legs are all fucked up now. And, and you know, you work your way up and then you can use your discretion. You don't want to start like blasting people on their necks and shit. Yeah, I guess you just got to really love it. You can't really half-ass tattooing. A lot of people in Vancouver are very open-minded to getting tattoos and they really respect the artist and they have a lot of trust in, and I really appreciate that, that I can do my drawings on whoever, like that is like the, the nicest feeling. <laughs> 